the Honorable Katanji Brown Jackson. It was a campaign promise of President Biden's that he would nominate a black woman to the Supreme Court if given the opportunity. This is the first time that the Supreme Court has not been made up uh, of a majority of white men. So, of course, there are now two black justices on the court, Justice Jackson and uh, Justice Clarence Thomas, who is the longest serving justice on the court. And of course, now there are four women on the court for the first time ever. I am humbled and honored to continue in this fashion as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. Justice Jackson obviously is joining a court that has just issued some high profile and certainly contentious, um, divisive within the court decisions. And again, she um, replaces Justice Breyer, who um, was of the same ideological sort of bent on the court. So her presence doesn't change that. Um, with everybody stepping away from the court for the summer, will that sort of lower the temperature a little bit? Um, perhaps the justices have sort of said in the past they all really need that break and are um, to, even in, in terms that are not as contentious as this one. The Supreme Court has just finished up a term with some very big rulings, obviously the ruling overturning Roe versus Wade and a big guns decision um, that conservative justices were in the majority in both of those decisions. The court has six conservative justices and three more liberal justices, and Justice Jackson's addition to the Supreme Court replacing um, Justice Stephen Breyer won't change that. Justice Jackson is a uh, graduate of some very impressive schools. She went to Harvard as an undergraduate. She studied uh, law at Harvard University. And then obviously she had this clerkship with Justice Stephen Breyer, which really clerkships are only offered to the best of the best law school students. So clearly she had distinguished herself even very early on in her legal career.